In this exercise, we're going to try to paint in a botanical style, uh, painting of a tua in our watercolor. And to begin with, uh, you need to find the, your sample uh, drawing so we can sketch this. I've already started it a little bit. I'm going to flip it over. And uh, the whole goal of uh, transferring this sketch to our painting surface is to not create or creases or grooves in our paper. So to do that, I'm going to turn this over to the brown side and put a piece of white paper in it so I can see, so I can kind of look through the paper and see the lines that are underneath. Now, if those lines aren't dark enough for you, then I suppose you can transfer over the front side of that as well. Let's take a closer look. So I have started a line already, and I'll just continue tracing this. Now on this one, since we're putting a, a line on this side, this line is going to be this, the line that transfers graphite to our painting surface. Okay, And so, and since that is true, we can put a little bit of graphite on this. Just trace it, because we're going to pencil over the other side to transfer this. Well, we'll do it lightly, so we want to have some graphite on this side. So I'm going to finish this and let you get started on yours, and we'll continue from there. Now, with that done, I'm ready to transfer this opposite image onto my painting. So, I'll turn over my paper, and I'll place it uh, somewhat in the middle, but not exactly in the middle. So I'm going to shift mine just a little bit to the left of center. And you can pick wherever yours is. In fact, you can put yours in the middle. Now, here's something that you do need to think about. Once I start to transfer this, onto that paper, I can't allow this image to move. Otherwise, I'll have lines that don't match. So to keep that from happening, I'll just grab some masking tape, put it in a couple places, at least two. So I've got some on the bottom edge. And now I'll transfer this. Now, this is what you should not do. Don't just drop your pencil in here and just draw right on this, because you're defeating the purpose to keep grooves from being in embedded into the surface. And the reason we don't want any deep spots or grooves is because as we paint this so, so lightly, this particular composition, that paint can pool in those grooves. And that's, that's not what we want. So let's transfer this. And to do this, I'm just going to do kind of a, just a gentle back and forth. And it doesn't matter if it's 100%, because all I'm looking for is a basic outline of where it is. So you can stop the video and do your own, or watch it until the end. And I'm really not putting much pressure on this, just enough to transfer. In fact, I think I'll take a peek to see how it's working. And I can see just a ghost of an image of my picture, which is not bad. That's my goal. I don't want too much well, I don't want too much graphite to transfer to the paper, so I want it to be light. My watercolor, the water may actually pick up the graphite and float it around, and again, since this is a light composition, that can get in the way. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish yours, and I'll see if I can get mine done, and we'll meet in a moment. I'm finished with my transfer, and I can see that I have a few places that are a little bit dark, so I'm going to use my kneading eraser just kind of pick it up. Really, I don't, I don't need to see this line except just enough to know where to paint the edges in. So I think I'll just lighten this up enough. So just enough, leave just enough of the graphite so that I can tell where the beginning and the end is for my lines. I think that will be okay especially at the tops of these flowers, because that's where it's going to be, where my lightest painting is going to be. The leaves down below, that's not uh, as concerning. I think I'll settle for that. And maybe in the video, you can't even see my lines. And you know, that's, that's okay. But I know where they are, and I think we're ready to begin painting.
Let's mix up some colors. If we look at our reference image, specifically at the, the flower petals, that pink that's there, that's, that's really uh, Quinn Rose. If you take a look at your color samples, I'll put them right over the top of the palette, and we'll compare that color. You'll find it matches our Quinn Rose uh, almost exactly, so we're not going to change that. I needed to um, also give credit where credit is due. This uh, tulip and the sample picture actually is from Kachiri Uing, E-W-I-N-G, and um, she has some videos that's been on, um, I believe it was Ipsy, and she's also in great courses. So uh, let's continue on. We'll prepare some of our, our color, our pink. I'll get some water. 